Okay, so today's video is something that I was supposed to film and release last year, as in back in 2020 or near the end of 2020. But I fell very ill with tonsillitis and the last couple of weeks of 2020 basically went horribly for me. So I didn't get to do that. So instead, I'm going to do that right now. Um, and it is kind of a retrospective look back at 2020 and more specifically the gear or the tech that I bought in 2020. So today's video is my top tech buys in 2020. Now, before I move on to talking about all the nice tech goodies that I bought back in 2020, if you guys want to talk to me about tech, gaming, streaming, anime, you know, whatever suits your fancy, then do head over to Twitch, hit me up with a follow over there. I do stream several times a week and you know, you come over and join, just chill out. I spend a lot of the time just chatting and then playing some games, popping some heads, you know, you know how it is, life of a Twitch streamer. So make sure you go head over there, hit that follow button, hit that notification bell so you know exactly when I come on live. Um, and all the links are down in the description box below. So get following. So to start off with, I've got six pieces of gear or six pieces of tech that I wanna quickly run through with you as my top six purchases of the year 2020 in terms of tech. The first one was actually something that I hadn't originally planned to buy, but then um, I ended up buying because my wife wanted to buy one and it's actually, it's actually in my pocket right now. Um, and it is the uh, Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra phone. My wife got the S20 Plus model. However, you know, you know how it is, tech enthusiasts want the best. So I went and opted for the S20 Ultra model. This has a nice kind of a skin and a uh, I don't know what you call these, a ring holder? It's a ring holder thingy? Yeah, I've, I've attached to it um, just because I don't like the gloss finish of the phone. Anyway, that being said, the S20 Ultra is probably one of my, uh, well, it is one of my favorite devices of the year, um, especially since that I use it all the time. It has 5G capabilities, uh, a very good camera, a very, very good camera. And I previously swapped from Huawei. Um, I used to have a Huawei Mate 20 Pro. Uh, Mate 20 Pro, is that, is that the thing? Was it a Mate 20 Pro? Yeah, Mate 20 Pro. I had a Mate 20 Pro or Mate 20. I don't know. Pro, I think it was. Eh, I had a I had a Huawei phone and I swapped over to Samsung thinking that, you know what? Huawei's not going to get any more uh, Google Play uh, related releases in the UK. So I might as well kind of jump ship and swap back to good old Samsung, which is nice and reliable and won't get banned by the US president. Anyway, this phone has, of course, served me well. It is very sturdy. It's an amazing, amazing uh, phone. Uh, with the Galaxy S21 coming out now, uh, it is uh, a bit sad that I won't be able to upgrade to it, but it is what it is. I'm perfectly happy with this phone. It has served me very well. Uh, I take lots of photos with it. I pretty much spend majority of the day on this when I'm not on my PC or something else. It's definitely my most used piece of tech in this year and um, it was quite exciting because we went and we pre-ordered the phones and um, you know then they arrived and then we went and picked them up and it was, it, was, it was a whole thing and it happened just before lockdown so it was a kind of nice pre-lockdown present. 5G is amazing though I haven't gotten to really use the 5G capabilities much since I've been stuck at home the entire time but it is what it is. Number six Galaxy S20 Ultra. Now, a number five is something more of a recent buy and it was technically purchased in 2020. It just didn't arrive until 2021. So I don't know whether it should be on the list or not, but I've put it on the list because it's technically purchased in 2020. And that is a number five, this bad boy, another Samsung Galaxy device. This is the Galaxy Tab S7. It is a fantastic little tablet. I've got an entire review video on this, so go check that out. Um, all the details about this tablet, or as many of the details about this tablet as relevant, are in that video, so go check that out. But this is one of the devices that i come to absolutely love. It is now one of my everyday drivers. I've actually started spending less time on my phone and more time on this, just because of how convenient it is. It has a fantastic screen, amazing battery life. I think the last time I charged this was three or four days ago and it's still running strong and I've been watching Twitch streams and YouTube videos and a whole bunch of other stuff on this. Um, you know, it comes packed with the S Pen, which is fantastic. Um, originally, I wanted to get an iPad Pro, but you know, I looked at the price comparison and then I saw MKBHD's video on the Tab S7 and the Tab S7 Plus, where he says that they're arguably better than the iPad Pro. And I was just like, you know what? Let's do some research. Did my research, bought it, don't regret it. 
fantastic. So at number five, it is the Galaxy Tab S7. Next up is a device that I don't actually have on me, on my person right now, but it is my laptop. And um, my laptop is the Huawei MateBook Pro 2019 edition, which I bought in 2020. It is an amazing, amazing laptop. Before I built my PC and stuff, that was my daily driver in terms of my laptop. Actually, before that, I used to have a HP laptop, which I wasn't gonna change, but um, my son knocked it off the table and broke it. So I had to get a replacement. So I ended up getting the MateBook Pro, which I had my eyes on for a while and I wanted to get anyway. I would have got the 2020 version, but um, it was a little bit more expensive and I just wanted to kind of save on those funds a little bit. So I ended up getting the 2019 version. However, very little difference between them. It has an i7 processor. Uh, it's got an eighth gen i7 processor, which runs fantastically. Uh, I do a lot of editing on that when I'm not in this room. I'm on that laptop over there in the living room. I do a lot of editing, a lot of work, a lot of design work on you know, all my graphics and stuff. Uh, I do a lot of the design stuff on that. It has a fantastic screen. Uh, it runs amazingly. I've so far had no problems with it. It is a fantastic device and definitely worthy of being on this list as one of my favorite devices. I absolutely love that laptop. Uh, and as you can see, it's got the same skin as my phone does. Uh, I put that nice uh, kind of nice kind of army black camouflage black skin on it uh, from Dbrand. Uh, amazing it just looks it, it looks and feels so premium it looks like a macbook uh but it's not a macbook and it's probably better than a macbook i don't like macbooks and i don't know why i don't like macbooks but they're fantastic devices as well but um the huawei mate 20 pro guys as my number four best buy in 2020 in terms of tech and then coming up hot at number three is this bad boy which i've done a few videos on before and i've got a whole review on this as well on my channel so go check that out uh, it is the SteelSeries Optis Pro headset or wireless headset and I've got a whole audio setup rig again there's a video on that too so go check that out uh, amazing every day I'm using this all the time this is literally on my head majority of the time whether I'm watching anime editing videos watching YouTube videos on my uh, PC laptop whatever uh, this pretty much connects to all of my devices through Bluetooth and uh, is constantly connected to my PC. I'm using it all the time. Sometimes even if I do pop out, uh, I do take these with me because it's just nice and easy to have. I do have the Galaxy Buds as well, but uh, sometimes, you know, depending on what I feel like, this is uh, my choice because it just keeps my ears warm in the cold right now. So it's nicer. Anyway, SteelSeries Arctis Pro, fantastic, fantastic buy. Definitely uh, one of my best purchases of the year it's in the top three so it is one of my best purchases of the year i absolutely do not regret getting this thing it is fantastic in terms of audio quality functionality and it just does everything for me and the fact that i've got all my audio connected coming into the same headset while i stream or game or just use a pc normally it's just it's just a dream come true for me so Arctis pro as my number three buy in 2020 at number two, we have something that I have done a video on an unboxing on, and I don't know whether you guys can see, but it's this little bad boy here. I don't know whether you can see right now. It is that little bad boy there. It is the Elgato Wave 3 microphone. I, I absolutely do not regret getting this thing. It's definitely one of the most useful devices that I've bought. Obviously as a microphone, it is fantastic. Like the audio quality is amazing for a condenser mic it's it's very very good quality you know chuck a little bit of eq and compression on it and it just sounds like a professional xlr mic uh, where you can get it to sound like a professional xlr mic but the main thing about that microphone is the software that comes with it and i mentioned this in the unboxing as well the wavelength software that comes with the elgato wave 3 and the elgato wave 1 microphones is absolutely phenomenal it gives you a virtual version of an xlr mixer essentially like i've got that up and running all my audio routed through it on my PC and everything just comes out into one place. It is fantastic. During my streams, my sound quality, my audio quality is a heck of a lot better. Uh, you know, I absolutely love the Elgato Wave 3 and it's probably gonna be my main microphone. Well, at the moment it's my only microphone, but you get what I mean. It's gonna stay my main microphone for a long time now because I have no intention of changing that thing. And for the price that it comes at and the functionality that it has, it is absolutely worth it. So that is my number two buy of 2020, the Elgato Wave 3 microphone. Before I move on to number one, guys, if you like my videos, do please 
hit that like, subscribe and the notification bell. It means a lot to me and this channel that you guys are watching and subscribing and liking my videos and enjoying my videos. If you guys wanna see something different on my channel or you want me to do my videos in a slightly different way or you have suggestions or improvements, then make sure you guys let me know down in the comments. It really helps me develop and learn and grow as a content creator. So you guys watching means the world to me. Make sure you guys also share my videos. It's really, really helpful. One more thing before I move on to the number one buy, I have a few honorable mentions um, one of them being my nice little PC here. Um, I wouldn't count it as an individual purchase, which is why it's not on the list, but getting that PC, my gosh, it was an absolute, um, you know, it's an absolute dream PC for me. Um, there are, I probably got it at the wrong time because there's a heck of a lot of upgrades that I could do to it right now with the 30 series cards coming out um, and, and the uh, Ryzen 5000 series chipsets. It is what it is. I still love my PC. The other honorable mention is the Xbox Series S console that I bought. Um, again, one of the, probably one of the better buys of the year. I don't regret it at all. It is an absolute upgrade. There are a few things I have not picky with it, mainly the storage. However, apart from that, it definitely uh, is worthy of an honorable mention. And the third honorable mention is my Stream Deck. It is something um, that I would put on the list if there wasn't so many other things that I felt that would just in my heart slightly better for me. The Stream Deck is also something that I use every single day. Um, it, it is an absolute fantastic device whether you're a streamer or not. So those three devices definitely get an honorable mention. However, the number one purchase for me in the year of 2020, so I don't know whether this technically counts as a purchase, but I did get it, kind of. It is the Canon M50 mirrorless camera that I'm using to record this video with right now, which is why I can't show it to you in my hands. Um, but it is absolutely my favorite purchase of the year. My favorite, my favorite tech item that I have acquired in 2020 is this camera. It is an absolutely phenomenal camera. Though it's not a 2020 device, it did come out a few years ago. It is still one of the top choices for content creators in terms of an entry-level camera. It is fantastic. I don't see myself changing from this camera for a long time. It does everything I needed to and more. Um, I bought a whole array of lenses for it uh, and they all work fantastically. And it's just, it's just such a good quality camera and an amazing purchase. I've taken some amazing photos of my family and well, mainly my family because I can't really go out and take nature photography with it right now because of lockdown. Um, and all my videos right now are being shot with this camera. It is absolutely amazing. I'm super happy with it. It is my favorite device at present. And you know, there's no way I'm uh, letting go of this for a long time. I do kind of regret the fact that the Mark II came out just after I bought it. So the Canon M50 Mark II. However, um, I later found out that that's not available here in the in the European Union. Well, no, we're not in the European Union anymore, are we? Oh, well, it's not available in this region. So I wouldn't have been able to get that anyway. So no harm done, Canon M50 or Canon EOS M50 as my top purchase of the year 2020. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Those are my top tech purchases of the year 2020. I will do another similar video like this, probably at the end of 2021, where I round up my uh, tech purchases of the year, though I don't envision myself having as many this year as I did last year so do look forward to it see what i get see what new stuff i come out with i have a lot planned for you guys so again make sure you guys hit that subscribe button so you know exactly when my videos are coming out lots and lots of really amazing cool stuff planned for you for this channel um this channel i'm gonna push it to its limits and its boundaries this year and try and see how far i can take it and i thank you guys for all of your support until next time everybody kyle 24 signing out